Here are five specs to compare when shopping for a new PC laptop. Number five, ports and connectivity. USB-C, Thunderbolt, HDMI, audio out, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. What do you need? And if it's a port, how many do you need? Look at what types of accessories and wireless connectivity you have and get a machine that has the right options. Number four, screen resolution and touch. The more pixels you have, the sharper the screen and the more screen real estate you have to do all your work. Aim for at least 1920 by 1080. And if you need a touch screen, they work best on 2N1 laptops that convert to tablet mode. On regular clamshell laptops, they're less useful. Number three, memory and storage. 16 gigabytes of RAM is a good baseline these days. 32 gigabytes if you're a power user or you do a lot of photo and video editing. When it comes to types of storage, many budget laptops come with eMMC. They're solid state, but slower than SSDs or NVMe. Also, most thin and light notebooks only support one NVMe drive, so aim for a terabyte if you need space. Number two, CPU performance. Nothing slows down productivity like waiting for your CPU to catch up. Even web browsers can be demanding if you have a lot of tabs open, which I always do. Always err on the side of more power. You can't upgrade it once you buy it. At number one, the NPU and discrete GPU. Generative models have become a staple of the modern workplace. See which neural processing unit NPU options are available and compatible with Windows 11 Copilot Plus PC. GPUs aren't just for video games anymore either. Tasks like video editing and streaming get a performance boost from a discrete GPU. If you do either or both, make sure to include it in your checklist. Got something to add to the list? Let us know in the comments. And if you can, support us at patreon.com slash DTNS.